Bro, we, we're entering winter, man. Are you ready for winter, bro? Yeah, man. Are you ready? Yeah, Have bro. you got your gloves? Have you got your jackets? Have you got your double socks? Says you might need to wear them indoors. Energy prices. It's cold world, bro. You <laughs> know, I stay wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Talk to me, man. Um, energy prices are going up apparently significantly, if that's the right word in a Queen's English. Energy prices this winter, they're going up significantly. Like, I mean, they said what that, are the niggas going to do? What are the mandem going to do? Are we trapping? What are we doing? I mean, they said the energy prices are going up and everything. And obviously, we've got that new um, <laughs> prime minister. And then, she, what's her name? Liz Truss or something. And she's saying that she's going to try and freeze the energy costs and everything. Trying to make it, try and make things easier for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, I ever, if I ever bump into a man, a man move to her, like, you go to the to make some love to her to see if she can cut down the energy price <laughs> for the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I hear you still. I think, they, I think they're trying to put, uh, put a freeze on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're okay. To, yeah, they're trying to not, not put their... Uh, not put them up, yeah. yeah I exactly. feel Yeah, I feel like it's going to eventually get to that because, yeah, there's too many people that actually really, really have got the anxiety saying, yeah, we're going to suffer. So I feel like, you know, I don't want to even say too much. You know when you live in the Matrix and some things get done and you're like, this doesn't need to get done, bro. But it's the world that we live in, man. Exactly, bro. The cost of living is getting higher, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But the cost of living, yeah, for sure, is going yeah, higher. higher. Like, even yeah, even with that in general, man, for you, has any of that affected you or you just like you're a soldier? You're, you're just not, you just keep it moving. Harder. Talk that about it, bro. That shit just made me hustle harder. That shit just <clears> made me feel like, you know what? I've got to get this money, bro. Yeah. And once I get this money, not only get this money, but I have to manage it well. You know mm. what I'm saying? I have to use it well because you can, you can get money and you can just blow it on bullshit. And then, and then before you know it, the cost of living is going up and then you'll, and then you'll you know what I'm saying? For real. The money's going to come. But when it comes, you have to deal with it, right? You know what I'm saying? You have to make the right choices, right investments, right tra- right everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, and you got to hustle hard. You got you got to get this money from every angle, find different revenues of getting it, different ways of getting it. Hustle every way, hustle every day. You know what I'm saying? Get this money. Never get too comfortable with where you're at. Never get too comfortable with what you've got. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because your money's always going to go out to something. Because everything, everything's cost. Everything's got a price on it. You know what I'm saying? So Big fact, bro. Get, tell them, bro. Tell I them. Need this paper every day, tell bro. them. You know what I'm I need give them some bro. money. Come give on. them some money. I need this money every day, bro. I'm hustling, bro. You're going to say it. So the hustle never stops. Never stops. So even for people that are watching this, that are watching your, you, like, what advice would you give them, people that are watching this with anxiety, thinking, oh, shit, like, this winter is going to be crazy? Or what, no, what am I going to do? Like, what advice would you have for, for those people who, yeah, who are panicking? I would say live by faith, not by fear, man. Simple. Very, very simple. Live by faith, not fear. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Let's touch on your music before we go, yeah? Let's yeah. touch on back on your, on your music, yeah? Are you planning to drop, uh, you know, like, usually I always ask you this kind of question, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. any body of work, like an EP or like, you know, like a mixtape before this year finishes or what, what are we doing? What are you saying? Yeah, man, I feel like I need to give them something a bit you, different. People, sorry to even cut you, my brother. People, he knows, like, I'm oh not always, but I've actually mentioned this quite a few times in our private conversation. Yo, bro, I feel like da, 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 da. you should drop like a mixtape or like an EP. Like, what's going on? You're going to drop an EP soon or like a mixtape? You know, I've actually a couple of times. Yeah, like, you actually have, man. Yeah. You actually mentioned to me, like, you're going to drop I feel like it'll be, yeah, man, it'll, it'll be like a proper good look yeah, as well. Exactly. Like, after dropping all of these amazing, get my to say, singles, tune after another, I feel like a next step would be sick for you to drop like an EP, even a couple of, just even a like free tune, even a couple of tunes, just like yeah. a body of work, yeah. just like, yeah, man. That's as a consumer, yeah. somebody that really listens to music. That's yeah, what I always yeah, do. I hear you still. It'll be a saying. proper good look. It'll be dope. Yeah. I appreciate. Yeah. I, I, I even appreciate you reaching out and saying yeah. that because it gives me an idea of what, what people yeah, want. Man. You know what Absolutely, I'm yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Try and them supply the demand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And give them what they want and do something different as well. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, man. Like if I do that and mm. do that EP, I'll definitely um incorporate different sounds into it. For real. You know what I'm saying I'm thinking about trying to do like an Afro beat thing as well. You know what I'm saying? Why like, not, bro? Yeah, trust bro? End of the day, all of us come from the motherland, right? <laughs> Originally, if you know, you know. Yeah. Come on. You're going to say? Yeah. And it, cause even, like I said, like, as a consumer, mm. like for me, as somebody who listens to like your music, the way I look at it is like, if you got like an EP, because sometimes, you know, sometimes listeners, some listeners that could be fickle. Mm. Like, I'm sure what I'm going to say, you've heard of this before, where it's like, when an artist just keep on either dropping like one song, one song, one song, or... When the artists keep on working with different, different people, sometimes certain people might look at them and say, okay, cool. You can keep on dropping a song and a song, a song. Or, okay, you keep on making songs with different people, but can you 
make songs by yourself yeah. or can you make e- can you make a body of work mm-hmm. do you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. and that question usually comes especially the more like when you start to really like you know form or merge like a following and certain people start asking questions okay cool okay we see Supreme G has been dropping all of these things and people will start asking these questions so mm-hmm. from early I just I, I, I asked my nigga yo yeah. we ever gonna get EP or me, yeah. like a mixtape so yeah it's literally yeah, that man because yeah, yeah. you're certified like nobody can't like I, like I said now no consumer can fucking say like Supreme G can't make tunes by himself mm. it's, you do that in your sleep it's yeah. baby food that mm. Tricky would say big up to my nigga Tricky mm. Tricky would say that's baby food man yes. and even consistency you're going to say it. the only thing for me like as a consumer is yeah man seeing as time goes by seeing a few collaborations and a body of work then i'll be like you know my nigga does it all bro you can't mm. you can't say shit mm. bro you're going to say and, yeah. And yeah man that's me as a fan talking Trust my nigga's being g you get me yeah, yeah. man Simple yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah my brother you get me working. yeah man like um the last thing i want to say bro thank you man Hey, thank you, man. Thank you so much once again, man. I really, really mm. enjoyed this conversation. It's been a while, mm. but it's been worth a while, man. Yeah, and worth the wait. yeah, man. I just wanna yeah. um, you get me. I just wanna say, like I said, thank you. Continue to push, bro. Continue to fuck these bitches <laughs> until you find somebody to settle down with. Mm. You know what I'm gonna say? Like, what is even? Let's should we talk about a few little things that was use a condom? Come on, safe sex. Even fuck it. Let's even say one or two more things as well. Like, mm. what is your type? What's my type? Yeah, your type. Oh, girl. Yeah. You've got... Be- I see you with so many different flavours. You've got a good appetite, man. Like, what's your, what's your type, my nigga? I like all types of girls, man. I like... Mm-hmm. As long as they're hot, they fit, they're nice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I like my... Mm. I like my, my chocolates. I like mm. my snow bunnies. Mm. I like my mixed, mixed ones. You know what I'm saying? I like mm. my Latino, Latina. Mm-hmm. I like my Asian things. Come mm-hmm. on, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I like them all, bro. I like them all, bro. <laughs> And guess what? They love me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dad no, my brother. Yeah, Come on. Dad no. Hey, right, dad yeah. no. Honestly, it's mad, man. I like them thick and curvy. I don't even want this conversation to end. <laughs> it's actually mad, bro. What's your type, though? Yeah? Bro, my... Bro, the bigger the... My... The bigger. Very simple. The bigger the better, bro. Yeah, them thick. Like Juicy. she, she can be thick or she can be a B B B B B B W. I, I let the people work that one now. She can be a B, not even a B B W. She can be a B B B B B B B B W. Wow, <laughs> you let them big big. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, the bigger the better, man. I'm just yeah, a, man. I'm a little nigga with a big appetite, man. Like that's what I tell, <laughs> that's what I tell a lot of these women that yeah, I deal with, man. Still, I let like them, I let like them thick as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah man bro. Like what kind of things Even in general man Fuck it Let's talk about some women man Like mm. before I go What kind of like um, You know traits Or what kind of like You know like What kind of attributes Using proper Queen's English mm. What kind of qualities Do you like Or do you look into a woman Or that Yeah what kind of traits And attributes and qualities That attracts you to a woman like Just that. in general You get me Because yeah. Because fuck all of that, you're just sexy, but you're just a piece of shit. Yeah, apart from yeah, you being yeah. sexy, fuck all them bitches, man. There's a lot of them bitches. Yeah, I like I like the girls that are different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I know most of these girls are the same. But yeah. when I when I see a different one, that's then she catches my attention. Mm. Like she might behave mm. different, but it has to be a good type of different, not bad type of different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? And I like the ones that are genuine, the mm. ones that can communicate well. Obviously, yeah. I've got to find her attractive. Yeah, that always helps. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But um. But one that respects me and one that's and it's gonna be there for me when I need her to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like vice versa, I'll be there to be there for her as well, you know what I'm saying? But like I want one that's genuine, man. I'm not one that's just trying to take from you like and then just trying to be some gold digging bitch, you know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. love that, you know what I'm saying? You just need someone that's gonna be you gotta have that connection, bro. Yeah. The connection it needs to be there. Does she have to be spiritual? Or sometimes that it depends, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I feel like we're all spiritual beings, but um, yeah. it, it, it works. Does she pra- does she have to like be like you know like this? proper girls and women actually yeah. practice on a, on a, a daily basis I mean it helps to be spiritual but obviously yeah. if your spirit is positive then yeah, definitely that helps as well I like that if yeah. your spirit is positive yeah, yeah I like that yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Exactly yeah. So. let me do something unique before we go yeah because we're definitely going to go after this yeah cool. what message do you have yeah let me I even want to look through your straight through your glasses yeah when I say this because mm. it's a bit random but now I want because I think this has been once again thank you again Come it's on. been a beautiful conversation but before we go mm. The last, last message I would like you to send to your mum and dad. Look through the lens. What would you say to your mum and dad? I love you. Yeah? You heard? Love in the building. You get one thing I said. Reality Team TV, Shafiq, Kayuki, once again. 
Oh, what a good conversation, man. You know what, you, bro? You know you've had a good conversation when you don't even want it to finish, bro. Yeah. You get what I'm saying, bro? Keep it rolling, you know bro. What I'm saying, bro. Keep it rolling. Anyway, on, right, thanks for having me again, man. You know nice, what I'm bro. It's so good, I'm man. Here, we always have a good conversation. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? The people been missing this. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I remember, like, absolutely, man. This one, I yeah. Share it on my socials all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I would like to share it more it's but true. because it's already been done and everything. So it's good that we're doing it's something good that we, new. We, an update yeah, one. An update yeah, one, man. So now we're gonna give them the new stuff. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, you get me. The catch up. The carnival, we spoke about everything, spoke the catch up. You got to say, do you know what? Before we go, because you, you really, I promise, this is the last thing, yeah, I promise, and then we'll mm. let the people go, yeah. Mm. I hope you don't mind, yeah. Like, it just, because usually you know me, I, like, I ask questions and whatever. I don't really do current things that are going on on social media, whatever. Mm. But this guy, bro, I swear to God, he keep on coming <laughs> up on my fucking timeline and people keep on talking about him. What are your thoughts on this guy, Andrew Tate, or if you heard much about him? I've heard his name a lot, you know. Bro, I'm, you know, bro, you know me. Like, even this sounds alien. Me even asking you about some guy that's making bear waves on the social media, but it's just like his views are very interesting because his views for me made made me feel. Because obviously, he got banned off social media, all of these mm. things. And for me, like I always say, the reason why I just want to talk about him for a second before we yeah. definitely go, it's just simply because I always like feel like, like I said, I think I even said it yesterday. Where it's like. People oh, should. I've got to Google this guy, man. I've heard yeah, of, man. I've heard of his name so many times. Yeah, I just feel like. You yeah, man. I, I just feel like um everybody should, everybody should be allowed a freedom of speech, man. And I just feel like we should find a way to, rather than banning people off social media, just don't give. You know that what people say like attention is currency, right? Oh, this guy, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen him. He's all over YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's always chatting to girls and saying a lot of stuff, innit? Yeah. And he's saying it how it is. What, yeah. So what about him? No, like, just, obviously, obviously, you, you clearly yeah. haven't, um, have you heard any, like, um, you know, let me reverse the question here. Yeah. Just even in general, you see that when people come out, certain people here and there, they come out, they, they make wild assumptions, they make yeah. wild um, comments and whatever. Like, do you think personally, yeah, that like those people, they should definitely get banned off social media or... People should not even just give them attention and just and eventually they will just fade away like a bad fart. I mean, like, you get exactly what I'm yeah, trying to say because I feel yeah. like if people don't give certain people their attention anyway, vlogs or whatever these medias and people are talking about them before you know on social media they won't be popping like that. Yeah. But I just feel like attention, like I just said, attention is currency, and I feel like the issue is it's, the main issue is actually I'm gonna literally even say on camera. I said something similar like this yesterday. The main issue is not really Andrew Tate. I'm, I'm keeping it real. It's the people that are talking about his shit, spreading what he's talking about. If you actually deep it, yeah. if people didn't really fucking, if people don't didn't Pay really talk about all of this yeah. shit and whatever, yeah. it, a lot of us we haven't really know about exactly, it exactly. When, when you deep it. So, yeah. what are your takes on that, man? Like, just certain people in general, like, should some people get removed of social media, or some people should just try to not give them the time of the day. I feel like wherever you give energy to, you give power to. You know what I'm saying? So everyone, when everyone's facts, yeah, when everyone's talking about him, saying this ain't like they're giving power to him, mm. they're, they're giving. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and um, social media has given us a platform to to have a freedom of speech and say what we feel and what we want, oh, whether we want to say it face to face, whether we want to hide and say it. You know what I'm saying? People can say it however they want to say it. Mm. But at the same time, there 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 are like things that there's lines that you, you can't cross and you know what I'm saying things like people can report you on social media people can you know what I'm saying? you can get blocked you can get reported you can get your you can get put into get Twitter jail exactly. or Facebook jail stuff like that you know what I'm saying so you have yeah. to be careful about what you say you know? and if, if you do say crazy things you have to be prepared to deal the consequences because it, it may backfire on you you know what I'm saying mm. so but I feel like if you haven't got nothing good to say or productive to say you shouldn't say it but some people obviously want to say it because they have their reasons, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, yeah, man, but at the same time, just be free, like, speak your mind, you know what I'm saying, and say how it is. Fam, uh, fam, we live in a fucking... Bro, who... Have you have you deeped it, bro? Like, even if you... Even if we never knew each other, and yeah. you was on the other side, mm. and you was talking shit, yeah? But in your reality, like, what you're saying has got value in your reality. Who am I to fucking tell you you shouldn't be saying that or whatever? Me, I just like to say, like, honestly, like... I'm just that I'm just that guy because maybe I don't give a fuck about many things that people say. I'm just the type. If I see something I don't like, rather than commenting under it, yeah. I just will leave and look for something I'm interested in. Exactly. That's what I just have to say. I don't condone some crazy shit people say, but just in general, bro, bro, you should let people, bro, people should be free to fucking say good or bad. I don't give a fuck what they want to say, however they want to say, and 
like I say, bro, if it's on social media and somebody is saying it mm -hmm. verbally on social media, not physically, because yeah. I'm not condoning people physically hurting people. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. But if it's on social media, somebody saying some outrageous shit, bro, all you need to do is just look away, bro. I feel like... Every, and, and I, that's yeah. it, bro. I just feel like people just need to allow people to say yeah. either good or bad, the crazy shit, bro. Yeah. Who are we to fucking judge exactly. what people can say, man? Exactly. I feel like everyone, that irritates me, bro. Yeah, exactly. I feel like everyone's entitled to an opinion. Yeah, opinion, bro. Yeah. Good or bad. As long as somebody's not physically getting yeah, hurt. Because yeah. on social media, like I keep on saying, it's so easy. You can block <laughs> a motherfucker and be like, exactly. I'll never have to see you again. But you got these... Fucking social media police, like I call them with my, like I tell my cousin, we call them social media police, like you just said, you know, the, the ones that report people. Yeah. How are you? Oh, I post, he says something I don't like. Oh, I post something I don't like, so I'm going to report you. Some of them people, they remind me of these yeah. little, these motherfuckers that used to be at school. You know, these tell, tell teacher snitch. pets, the teacher yeah. pets. Like they tell, bro, like yeah. when you deep it, bro, we fucking, yes, the world is crazy out there, but bro, like. Mm. Just turn away yeah, from exactly, and just man. focus on your followers, people that you're following. Exactly, exactly. Like, that's what I. That's why I really want to say. If yeah. if it's either Andrew Tate, if it's either Supreme G, <laughs> oh, it's oh, Shafiq yeah. Kaiki. Just, let people say whatever they've got yeah, to say. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Yeah, man. Yeah, but opinions. I'm gonna stand on that. Yeah, are not man. Necessarily facts. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And if you don't agree with the opinion, you don't agree with exactly. it. Exactly. And if you do, you do. You don't have to speak on it or anything like that. You know Bro, what I'm that, saying? So everyone I, should be able to speak what they want to speak. Yeah, Because you, know? you just might learn from someone else. <laughs> For real. Saying? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to agree with them, but you take what you take from it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's simple, my brother. People getting their feelings and get and start, and start like, taking mm. it the wrong way and then it's causing problems. You know what I mean? And, I, and the last thing I'm going to say, like I said it yesterday as well, those people who report, those people who got time to be reporting people as well, I just feel like sometimes those are the kind of people that don't even really have a life and they always want seeking attention and they never got given attention like by their parents or like in school, whatever. Now, it's like they would do anything to get attention. <laughs> when you deep it, it's like they would do anything to get yeah. attention, to report, to get retweets <laughs> or whatever. These are the kind yeah. of people that in real life, they're like, yeah. I'm going to conclude to this. Those are the, the people that in reality, they never got no love or attention. Yeah. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Hate the motherfucking game. Mm -hmm. And with that said, we definitely going to conclude the conversation on here. Supreme G, my guy. Hey, yo, love, my G. Love always, bro. Man. You're Thanks going to understand. It's been again. lit. Thanks Appreciate for coming. That, man. It's all good. Each and every time. Yeah, Reality yeah. Team TV. TV. Another open, insightful, and absolutely educational conversation because you can mm -hmm. take some gems and you can learn one or two things from this conversation. You get Trust me? Trust me. We're over and out. Over We're and over and out. out. We're here. We're not going anywhere. We're no here way. to stay. We're here to stay. Once again, I'm here. Reality team's here. We are not going anywhere. If anything, we are getting bigger and bigger. Slowly, slowly. Bigger Reality bigger. team TV, Shafiq Kayuki, Supreme G. Come on. Done. No, we're out. We're out here. Yeah. Out here.